Hi everyone, George here from My Cart Mayhem and today I'm here at I from MCON where everyone is dressed up from everyone's favourite sci-fi movies they have this press pass that allows me to access all areas anytime and, and in 45 minutes I'll be talking to the, some of the doctors Camp outside Stephen Moffat's house or something Is that how really? I don't know <laughs> My advice about how to get into acting is be lucky. Yes. Don't be talented because very often that doesn't matter. Um, just be lucky. <laughs> be in the right place at the right time and yeah. be pleasant to people. Yeah. It might work. Otherwise, yeah. you might live in poverty. That's how I got in by luck. And poverty. You didn't. There was poverty on the road. In that cardboard box? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have next question? Um, what was your fondest memory of being the doctor? Ooh. Working with Sophie Aldred and Mel, Bonnie Langford. I'm actually just working on the program is great, great fun. Yeah, just being, uh, just being the doctor really because you, you, I grew up watching it and so it was, you know, extraordinary to suddenly be actually playing the part, just prancing around in your outfit, thinking I'm the doctor. Yes. Good. I think one of my favourite memories is. Somebody said to me, hey, when you die, it'll be on the news. Uh, I wouldn't say that was my favourite memory, but uh, it's, it's <laughs> hasn't happened yet. It's it's certainly, it certainly focused my attention on what I was doing. Sadly, you and won't be there to hear it. That's what no, you won't be there to remember it. Exactly. <laughs> but the thing I, I liked most about it was, for once, when we were working, I was the one that set the atmosphere. You went on somebody else's show where they were a curmudgeon and making it difficult for everybody else. Oh, so you could yeah, be your own commander. I could be my own commander. Ah. No, it was just <laughs> nice because it's the only time in my career I really totally look forward to coming to work every day. <laughs> you know, really good. I'm going to do Doctor Who today. <laughs> Even in the best job, you go, oh God, do I have to go? In? Do I have to go in this morning? Yeah. Got to have the morning off. That's the King of England. Oh dear. It's a famous story about actors who been out, an actor had been out of work for years and finally got a job. And his wife was congratulating him and said, yeah, it's brilliant and I've got next Tuesday off. <laughs> there you are. Next question, please. Um, during your time as the Doctor, which enemy did you fear the most and why? Hmm. I suppose uh, the Rani. Yes. She was very scary. <coughs> Kate O'Mara, who was wonderful. She was. Uh, she scared the pants off me. She was very literally. Scary. Yes, because you you. Dealt she killed with me. She killed you. And, uh, I, it's actually thanks to her that I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I never thought of that. I never met the Rani. Actually. Yeah. I was like the Cybermen. My my era Cybermen. I thought quite neat. But yeah. They were proper Cybermen. Yeah. Then. Yes, that's Not true. those clunky things no, that you no, Exactly. Yeah. No, they were good Cybermen. David Banks think, was asked. The Cybermen of our era were the best ones. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah Tall. In theory, it would be the master, even though I never had a really good master story. But I like the idea of the, of the one enemy that is the Doctor's implacable foe. So a proper story with, yeah, the, the Moriarty. And yes. Sherlock Holmes. He Moriarty and Neddy Seagoon. Ah, Moriarty. Oh dear, we're Christmas. down to doing the goon show impressions. <laughs> Quick, hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got a pair of screens on him, has he? <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> Next question, George. Who do you think will win in a fight between the Daleks and the Cybermen? Ah, that's a good one. How many of each? How many Daleks, how many Cybermen? Is it an equal number? Uh, yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it to the Daleks. Yeah, I'd yeah, give it to the Daleks, actually. I agree. We three doctors agree. Yeah. Unusual. But if it was one Dalek and a thousand Cybermen, the Cybermen might win. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what was your favourite episode as the Doctor? Two Doctors. I worked with Patrick Troughton, who was the second Doctor. And uh, for me, he was the Governor, because he, he did that first regeneration that made it possible for the rest of us. So working with Patrick made that one special for me. The Five-ish Doctor's reboot, that was my, my best. Uh, yeah, I'll have to agree with you there. Uh, I was going to say yes. Oh, I'll agree. I'm <laughs> agree. I was going to do my case of Androzani, except that I turned into Colin Baker at the end. But yes. I won't do that, Joe. No, no. I think, no. That, I think the Five-ish Doctor's reboot, yes. yes. <laughs> In fact, I, re I backtrack on that. <laughs> well, again, we I'm all not, agree. I wasn't sure it was ca <laughs> Is it canon? <laughs> we we don't don't I'm with you. We don't care. <laughs> 
<coughs> Since the relaunch of Doctor Who, are there any new enemies that you would have liked to face as a Doctor? Yeah, the Weeping Angels, I thought, were quite scary. Although I like the the, um, the the terror dummies, you know, with the hands that turned into mm. guns. Yeah. But they they came from the past, didn't they come from? Yeah, the yeah, they had their origin. Yeah. The autons, yeah. you mean? I, I, like the, I like the Slidine because they fart. Oh, All right, <laughs> windy. Very windy. I think a farting monster must be the best yeah. by far. And well, I wonder why I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you again. <laughs> Um, would you like to have K9 as a companion? No, no, no. It never worked. No. They used to drag it around on a piece of string because it never worked. And it had to be on the flat ground. <coughs> the you have to pretend that you're running fast when you're yeah. running slow because it couldn't keep up. Yeah. So as you're barking mad. <coughs> hey, you're barking mad, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bad one. It's a rough joke, though. Yeah. <laughs> if you could go back in time, is there anyone you would like to meet? Oh, I mean, actually back in time, yes. Yeah. Um, mm. oh. Maybe Michael Grade's parents and persuade them that not to get married. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, especially now that he's a Tory peer. <coughs> uh, now, let me think. Who would I like to meet? Um, uh, yeah, Buster Keaton. Oh. I don't know, that, was that Buster? Or was yeah. it you farting again? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, ah. Oh. Yes. So, there Just we are. Reading about. Marilyn Monroe. Oh. oh yes. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, Next question. If you could be the doctor again, is there anything you would have done differently? I'd have kicked what? him out of my costume, <laughs> I tell you. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Virtually everything, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Yes. Do you still be? Do you still mind being referred to as the Doctor, even though you have gone on to other things? No. No, we've got used to it, really. I think when I first start, it annoyed me a bit because I thought that I wanted to. Did it? Yeah, a bit. But you know, I just wanted to get on with the next thing and left <laughs> left it behind me. But then gradually, I realised that uh, it will never leave me. So if you can't beat if them, if you can't join them. Oh, yeah, one of those, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those sayings. And now I'm delighted to be called a doctor. I mean, it's such a, it's an it's honor. such an unlooked for honor to be yeah. remembered for anything. If you talk to a carpenter and everyone kept going on about this one of the Chester drawers you made 50 years ago, in the I'm, end, you'd be I'm, happy, wouldn't you? Or if you talk to a carpenter, what a wonderful religion you made, you know, whatever it was. Yeah. Because, yeah. Okay, George, do you want to thank the doctors? Um. I'd like to thank you for coming and doing my questions. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank oh, you, George. Very great pleasure. Thank you for asking them. And very good questions they were. Yeah. I hope you enjoy watching it when you play it back. Do you watch it? Do you, do you watch yourself doing it? Uh, yes. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs>